to Samut Song Krem. This is where I'm gonna be living for the next few months, maybe a year. Um, it's hot, it's already 9.20. This is the Mei Klong River, sort of just flows through the southern side of uh, Thailand, uh, near Bangkok. And this province, Samut Songkram, is the smallest province of Thailand and it's about an hour and a half drive from Bangkok, southwest. And it has over 170 temples, I think I read, in such a small province. We can sort of see one just now. We'll check out some of the temples near this downtown. And the other reason this place is very famous is for the uh, railway, ma railway market the Mae Klong Station Market. I think it's called Rom Tub Market actually, not Railway Market. So we'll check all this out today. Um, I'm gonna show you around this area. Uh, we'll look at the markets. I might show you the night market that I've been checking out. I've been here for about four nights. Um, getting my bearings, getting used to the food, learning some Thai. So let's enjoy the morning.
And this particular train follows the coast along the bottom towards, it doesn't get to Bangkok, but um, the southern part of Bangkok, very southern part. Uh, that's where the train goes. All right, on the river, we've got one temple behind me. We'll check that temple out. But down the river, it goes towards the main water markets, Amphia Market. Um, so all the water markets are down there. To drive, it's about a five kilometer drive. I'll have to get a, one of the local bikes or cars to take me. Um, but it's down this river. Uh, you'll see a lot of famous images of people in the water markets. But we'll check out this temple. Here is another temple on the other side of the market. The market is massive. There's a little section that's touristy right next to the tracks. But if you could just go back like one row of the markets, it's very local, very uh, not much English. So you can get both sides of that market, the touristy side and the local side. This, this temple looks amazing. So colourful, the paint looks fresh. I'm not an expert on temples yet. I'll start learning about it while I'm here in Thailand. Got a garden. Very busy. Busy, busy, busy. All right, we're gonna get some fruit, I think. Maybe a juice. Wow, it's a lot busier. Today's Friday, so. This market's, and that's like that every day, um, how it is. Some of the floating markets, that, which we'll go to in the future, they're only open sort of the back end of the week. So Thursday to Sunday, or some of them are just open Saturday and Sunday. So make sure you check out if it's open. You don't want to come out all this way and not be open. Um, all right, we'll just get another snack. All right, it's now 10.30. It's getting quite warm, got a nice sweat. I just washed my face. Normally you complain about not getting a hot shower. Here you complain about not getting a cold shower. I'd love a cold shower right now, but the water's warm. I don't know, I think guess they get the water from the roof. I'm not sure where the water comes from. I can't get a cold shower, but First world problem, yeah. Now, what I want to show you, I've got some food and drink. Tonight we'll go just walk through the night market. We won't explore it probably, but I'll just show you what it's like. Today is more the touristy things you can do in this particular area. If you come out to see the railway market, you want to see the other market. But one thing I want you to be careful, especially for us newbies here in Thailand, is the money. There are three notes that are very similar color. And if you've had a few drinks or you're at a sketchy place, most ties are pretty honest and I've made the mistake once and I got the right thing back. Um, mistakes can be made or just be careful. So this is the 100 baht note. So just uh, 100 baht, I'll put it on the screen how much that's worth. It's about, in, it's about two, uh, $3 maybe in Australian, $2 American. This is the 500 baht note. So the 100 baht is more like peach color. 100 baht is more purple. And then this is the 1000 baht note. Okay, and I'll put it on the screen what each one's worth. Now they are totally different colors if you put them next to each other. But during the night time or as you knew, they are very similar. And you know, you got the 100 baht, a couple of bucks and a 1000 baht 
are $20, $30. So it's a big difference if you make the mistake. I know I went to 7-Eleven and I must, I thought I gave in a hundred note and I must have given the thousand note in. I got all this change back. I'm like, why are they giving me all this change? Obviously I gave them the thousand instead of the 100. Uh, so just be careful of that when you're coming to Thailand. Um, especially us newbies, anyone that's been here for a long time or Thais watching this are probably like, nah, that's stupid. But I think they're very similar color. So, uh, I also got some pineapple, just as a snack. Trying to eat more fruit now I'm in Thailand. Um, try to, as I said, I don't have a kitchen here, so I've got to eat things that I can eat straight away. I'm going to show you that's half the channel what I'm going to do. Half the channel is going to be traveling around Thailand. The other half of the channel is living in Thailand. Yeah. So we got the pineapple. This one was this bag of pineapple, twenty baht. And then it comes with. I didn't try it last time I got this one. I guess it's sugar. So we'll try it with sugar. That's why it's, I don't really need sugar on pineapple, but we'll give it a go. All right, so we've got the sugar on there. Mm. Makes it more into like a candy pineapple. And then we got a juice. I don't know if this has come actually from a fruit or it's just um, made, made, made sort of thing. 10 baht juice, but it's ice cold. Give it a go. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think it's man made. I don't know if it actually comes from a fruit. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get explore the markets. I'm going to try to learn new foods, learn Thai. I've learned the numbers up to 20. See you in the afternoon slash evening at the night market. All right, let's explore the market. Let's go. Cool.